Well, tonight, is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a, it's a drone. Are these things the future? Or are they just big perverts in the sky? Yeah, there's that too. Also tonight, the TPP, we're talking SIFs. Hello, I'm Wallace Chapman. I'm Damien Christie. Welcome to Backbenchers, the end of 2015. Let's rock and roll. What a great crowd here. The end of the road for 2015, forever, who knows? But look, I want to say a big round of applause for the crowd yourselves for supporting the show. Nice one. Thank you so much. Very good indeed. Now, um, big show lined up. You, you might have seen this, the first piece to camera I did with the drones. We are giving away a drone tonight to the audience. One lucky person will walk away with the drone or fly away with it or whatever it is. But let's uh, welcome the star of the panel. Uh, a big round of applause for United Future Leader, Peter Dunn. Peter, welcome to the show. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm well, very well. All right, quick three, question one. What will, be, what will the pandas do for the Wellington economy? Oh, that would be a big boost for Wellington, but uh, <laughs> let, let's first of all get right. the project underway before we start going running okay. around China trying to find much, them. Peter. All right, OK, question two. The most outstanding MP so far in 2015 is? The most outstanding MP in 2015? Uh, there are a number, but... Or just uh, one? I'll give you Jeremy Corbyn, who's taken the British political scene by storm. How's that? OK, that's interesting. All right, very, that's very interesting. And three, should hip-hop star Chris Brown be let into New Zealand? No, I don't think so. All right, that's a no. All right. Um, straight up is Peter Dunn. Uh, and a look, a big round of applause for uh, Labour MP for Manurewa, Louisa Wall. Louisa. Kia ora. How's my hometown of Rewa? Because that's where I grew up. Rewa's is doing well. Is it still going okay? Yeah. Going? Okay, here's a quick three. All right. Should Chris Brown be let into New Zealand? We've got a process. I believe no. in the process. Yes or no? No, what personally. No, okay. But we do have a process. All right. Question two. The biggest waste of space in Parliament for 2015 is who? You want me to name an individual? Yes. I can't think of one. <laughs> Can she? I'll let you off. All right. And um, qu question three, Panda for Wellington Zoo, yes or no? That's up to Wellington Council and the government. I would think of much better things to do with the money, personally. I mean, I would rather spend it on uh, ensuring our kids can learn and making sure that they have enough food right. in their bellies. That's a so no for, uh, it becomes a, about priority at the end okay, of the day. Uh, and National MP for Invercargill, big round of applause for Sarah Dowie. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you, Sarah. How are you? Good, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, question number one. Would you support pandas for Invercargill Zoo? Absolutely. I love fluffy pandas. What a great educational experience for kids. That's a yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, question two. Does Invercargill have a zoo? I was only joking. Uh, well, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. I know, exactly. It's yeah, yeah. called Weather All right, Movies question, or something. Question two, the real question. Should hip-hop star Chris Brown be let into New Zealand? Oh, look, he'll yes have to go no? for an immigration process, but I don't know his music, so no. Oh, you don't? Know, right. Okay, so that's a no <laughs> on the musical basis. And finally, <laughs> the best opposition MP for 2015 is... Come to, on! Uh, Phil Goff, actually. Phil Goff. really good. Yeah. Very, okay, very good. So now, and a big round of applause for the Deputy Leader of New Zealand First, Ron Mark. <laughs> How are you, Ron? I'm good, mate. Yeah. Very good. Welcome to the show. How are you, Wallace? All right. I'm very well, thank you very much. Uh, but, but sad, actually, final yeah. show. I know, yeah, every, every right to be. Keep now, going. question one. Should Chris Brown be let into New Zealand? Who's Chris Brown? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. You know who he is. Oh, well, he's a, he's they're, a, they're he's a rap artist. Yeah, well, rap, well, I don't listen to rap, but... What um, do you listen to? Or, or, oh, country, mate. OK, you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe you now. All right, OK, I'll let you off. All right, question number two. The best New Zealand first female MP for 2015 is... 
Oh, they're all... Uh, look, I'll just take my, I'll, the oh, person, the unsung hero in my caucus is Barbara Stewart. Yeah. All right, She's Barbara Stewart She's is. a whip and she has a tough job and pe that gets overlooked. And finally, will pandas be great for the Wellington region? <laughs> to do what? Uh, look, <laughs> firstly, I don't, uh, someone needs to tell John that they actually only come in New Zealand first colours. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think he missed that. Um, secondly, I've never seen a panda buying an ice cream downtown in China anywhere. Um, so I don't know. And actually all the evidence that's behind the scenes in the Wellington City Zoo suggests that uh, economically it's a... Makes no change. Oh, right. Makes okay. no change. But you know, if we bring in sixty thousand of them a year, it might help the economy somewhere. All right. They we could send them to I don't very, know. very good. Damien Christie. Send them into the car. There you go. You lose them today. They come yeah, in the first couple. I was just trying to work out if you've got enough pandas and you arrange them just so whether you what? could make a swastika out of them. Pa um. yeah, panda for prime minister. <laughs> panda for prime minister do a far better job right hey, now. Hey, very exciting tonight, Wallace, because we do have a big. Obviously, had a lot of money left at the end of the year. Big prize for one lucky audience member we've got a can I just get a camera over here please we've got a we've got a drone to give away very 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 exciting um, can we get a can we get a can shot we get a oh, no no not that one there just down here right yeah cool get a shot of the drone no not really <laughs> <laughs> here we go here we go can I have it <laughs> that's not the one we're giving away this is the one we're giving away oh you see that yeah so yeah. That's not a drone. It does actually fly. That's well, not a, that's not, that doesn't fly. It that's does fly. It flies. It does not fly. Anyway, uh, end, of the, end of the season for us, so let's have a look back at our top five for the year. At number five, the Brendan Horan Memorial Prize for Services to Crooning goes to John O'Naylor, who wowed us with this rendition. I hear the drums echo in tonight As they go restless longing for some solitary company I can't remember the rest of it. At number four, for services to racial harmony, the white man behind a desk and ask a black guy. Ugh, I can't say white man, it's like that's fine, that's what I am. Is it a thing where you can be white on the outside but feel that you're black and therefore you're black? Is that a thing? That is not a thing. <laughs> At number three, the Palm Olive Award for members of parliament who need their mouths washed out. Runner-up is David Seymour. No, 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 cutting government spending. At number two, you know you want to hug her because she always hugs back double. But even we were pleasantly surprised to see Judith Collins and Matilda Tude sharing the love on backbenches. And number one, the gift that keeps on giving. Ladies and gentlemen, without this man, we would have only had a top four each week. The 45th President of the United States, Donald Trump. Yeah, I'm actually a nice person. Yeah, the biggest thing for me, David, of course, all the surprises across the year was uh, uh, was that conscious coupling of Maturia and Judith Collins. I wonder if that guy Tyrone, though, is uh, is here tonight. Is he here tonight? Sorry, right? He is here tonight. Hello, how are we? So Donald Trump, Donald Trump, um, the gift that keeps on giving, 45th President of the United States. Oh God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but what are you gonna do? What uh, do you What do you think from you know 45,000 miles away? What do you think when you see Donald pop up on the TV? <laughs> I think he's really good for the Democrats. We really want him to uh, run on the Republican ticket. <laughs> he's leading the polls, though. He's a hot mess. <laughs> I love that phrase. He's, he's definitely something. <laughs> <laughs>